Hey dog, what's up? You look serious. Just headed across town to teach my mom how to search on the internet. She's kind of old and still thinks that if you just type your words in Wikipedia or Google you can find it. What do you mean Google, Wikipedia, and Ask.com are the bomb. They can find anything you need. Man you're like my mom's. Let me bring you into the 21st century. There are many search engines available other than Google. There are many search engines that search through data or websites they have collected and placed in a database. And no two engines are alike. In fact, on average, engines differ by as much as 40% in their search results. And yes, some are better than Google it depends on what you're looking for. Google is the largest independent search engine. But there are meta search engines like Dogpile that search not in just one database but in multiple databases collected by multiple individual engines. So multiple search engines are the best. Again it depends on what you need to find. All search engines look for the location and frequency of your search terms. Meta search engines do it much quicker but if you have some time and want more than just an overview or basic knowledge of your subject I would stick with an individual search engine. Also keep in mind you cannot refine your searches in a meta or multiple search engine. Man you know a lot. Okay, individual and meta engines, I got this. Not quite. You have another choice for searching. Get this. Search engines search by robots but subject directories are maintained by human beings like you and I. And the good thing about human editors is that you get a more organized search because someone has organized the data or information into categories and subcategories. All laid out using MagLogic for your search to be nice and tight. Cool. Sounds like subject directories are the way to go. Well they are if you want to search for a popular topic or if you just want to see what is out there on your subject. And there are all kinds commercial, academic, portals and portals. Portal? Sounds like a passageway from the movie. Star Trek. That is exactly what a portal is. A gateway or one-stop shop to great websites and information you may need and it is compiled and maintained by a librarian. I always liked our librarian. Good old Mr. Tedesco. What about Vortals how can they help me? Vortals are databases of websites and pages collected by a professor or a government agency on a specific subject. Imagine an archive or collection of websites just on graffiti art. That sounds great but my Google can still do alright. Man hold on. Listen. Ever heard of the deep web? 60 to 80 percent of the entire internet cannot be accessed by a normal browser or search engine like Google. What? 60 to 80 percent of the web. Yeah. If you want to get at most of the web you have to use library gateways or subject specific directories which contain links that will take you directly to the information you seek. What are the names of some of these portals and vortals? Some good gateways are, InfoMine and Digital Librarian and a list compiled by a librarian. Some good portals are, IMDB.com for all kinds of info on movies and film. And a good database for finding a job is Monster.com. Now, hold up. I know I got this. Whenever I need to search a specific subject I just call my librarian and ask for a good portal or portal. How long before your mom stop? I got a few. What you thinking? I want to ask you how do you know if a website is trustworthy? With all the corporations on the web getting smarter about hiding their misleading information or ads. Tell me about it. I don't trust most of the companies on the web for my research. Most of the web addresses or domain names that end with .com or .org I stay away from. Especially those fools trip in making hoax websites or biased websites. They pretend to be fair and neutral but try to slip in their opinions. What domain names do you prefer? In the web address or the URL? 
I'll look for the domain names.edu and .governor cause I know I can trust universities and the government agencies to create trustworthy websites and info. Cool. Bias. Advertisements. What else you look for? I always avoid websites that don't have the last update listed or don't have the name and contact information of the person who created the site. I definitely stay away from sites that do not tell me about the author or creator. How do I know they're a real doctor? True that. Thanks for the lookout. While I am thinking about it, the other day I tried to search in Google for information on the ontological race conditions in our postmodern culture but I could never find a good site. If you have a minute and pen and paper I will enlighten you. You still think I am stuck in the 80s? I have a recorder on my smartphone. It's right here in my bag. Give me a second. Ready. You were right to search in Google or a trusted database for a specific subject. Just like you want to search in Yahoo search if you are just browsing because it has a subject directory as well. Or you can browse in a meta search engine. If you want to find everything you can on a subject try several search engines. If you use a search engine like Google you always want to check the default or basic settings because it can add words in your search terms without you knowing it. Just like to type in the most effective search terms you want to make your terms specific, use only nouns and objects, and place the most important terms first in order. I also avoid using common words and I use more than three words and I use quotes to combine words into phrases when possible but Casuit will search for the words in the exact order I have typed them in. I think they're announcing another stop. Not me. I still have a little time. Go on. What other research tips do you have? Most engines in basic search option allow you to place a plus sign or a minus sign in front of a term to include it or exclude it. They also allow you to truncate words so that you will get more inclusive results. By truncate you mean you can use a shortened version of a term like LIBRR and get results that include all the words, library, and, librarian, and, libraries. Right on. In searching I always type in lower case letters so that the engine will include both lower and upper case results. What about this Boolean dude? Oh yeah. Boolean invented these righteously effective search terms, and, or, and, not. If you type them in all capital letters and place them between your terms they can help you link your words and phrases for more effective searching. Using the Boolean term, and, narrows your search. Using the term, or, widens your search results. And using the Boolean term, not, limits your search results by including your first but, not the second term. No pun intended. Oh yeah. If you place the Boolean term, or, between two words you want to put parentheses around them to combine the search statement. Your stop. Right on. Almost finished. You can use a website's various fields placed in the search terms for a more effective search. Fields as in the website's title, domain, or a web address. Right. You can also improve your quality of search terms by placing among them other website fields such as the host site, links, and names of images. A few last tips that may help as well. If you get too many hits in your results try to use more than one word and no common words. I use synonyms. If your search hits are too few then you need to change your terms or try a new engine. This is you man. Happy searching. Peace out. Created by Joe Tedesco. Based on information from a tutorial called Bare Bones 101 Single Quote created by Ellen Chamberlain at the address www.sc.edu.